you guys is boomer with bali star and today we's getting into one of the characters egos master abilities now this is gonna be talking about anime characters you know what i'm saying uh so yeah we're gonna see dbz possibly i don't know other anime shows but uh let's get straight on into it man make sure you like support the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new so we're gonna put the all star gang up in this thing let's get straight on into it man Let's go. You must think I'm some weakling. Some child that needs to be taken care of. Some lackey that needs saving. I am the prince of all saints. The perfect life form. You think I can be beat? You just watch. Watch what a real nigga can do. Fight back, nigga. Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back. <laughs> Well, it's not even that, but if they get manipulated uh, 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 mentally, you know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody, like, uh, takes over their minds or controls them, you know what I'm saying? Some form of, like, technology or, or magic or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, like, if they control their minds to make them go against the Justice League, you know? Like, that guy had backup plans. Gotta be like a multiverse. <laughs> well, that could be a thing. So them niggas decide how to manipulate the multiverse and come into their universe. Personification of stay ready so that we don't have to get ready. He's right. A perfect example of ego with ability. From the time she showed up to the end of the show, we know that this in the world's greatest This motherfucker created metal bending, bro. She's a fucking god. Do you know how great you gotta be to make the avatar master of all four elements look like a bitch? Like a little blind girl should not have these type of abilities, bro. Did. And she gonna talk her shit while this ain't your right. ass. Like the first episode it. she shows up and takes on the entire earth beneath the girl. Talk, my nigga, where you going? My daughter is blind. She is weak, frail, helpless. Not too much, old nigga. Let him go. I already beat y'all asses once. I ain't no bitch. Wait. They're mine. My nigga created her own fog and started piecing these niggas up. Did this fake ass firebender. Dirty as fuck. Made it look way too easy, bro. Then this nigga with this freak <laughs> ass mask. You know he on some freak shit, bro. Chill, chill, chill. He thought he was hard. Two rocks at her. Caught them hoes. Made him jump on the D. Three separate. That feels hard. Fall for his ass. <laughs> they having a little cowboy standoff. Ain't nobody 
seven moves at it. But this nigga forgot. We got sonar. Dodged the fuck out of him. Set his ass down in the bleachers with her dad. That was hard. She said, fruit. Boom. I was like. Just a god among humans, bro. But this nigga forgot. We got sonar. Dodged the fuck out of him. Set his ass down in the bleachers with her dad. Just a god among humans, bro. Like the fucking cream of the crop. Supposed to be the best. The die lead for Bossy say had nothing on top, bro. I think her confidence low key comes from learning Earth Earthmen from the source. You are probably thinking, why not Azuma? And that bitch is scary, for sure. She went out bad for me. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I hate a villain that end up getting their ass beat. Especially after they talk as much shit as her. But there are villains that don't need to talk shit. And if you don't strike the fear across their perspective versus easily. His name is a one on one, always bet on Kaido. Nigga is believed to be the strongest creature on earth. Bro, the Marines caught this man 18 separate times, and he still ain't sneak. Honestly, Thugger needs him. Free slap, bro. They tried to hang Kaido, but the chain broke. They tried to behead Kaido, but the blade shattered. This man, Kaido, sent nine Marine battleships by himself. So, yeah, bro, nobody can kill this man, not even himself. That's why he's trying to drink himself to death every day. He found peace. As a whole personifies the word ego. Like Rip White Bear, bro. They only got him because he was sick and they still took 300 shots to take that man down. Fuck Blackbeard. We, we ain't gonna speak on him. Fuck that nigga. Like the first time Kaido fights Luffy. See, we hadn't got a real taste of a Yonko yet. We just ran away from Big Mom and never catch Shanks ass. Man, Kaido chilling all bottles on him. Bro, he keep a bottle. Right, bro? That's Henny or Casamigos today. <laughs> Bring me another drink. I did for a second. I was like, Honestly, yo. Overkill. Now, what does every main character do when they think that their crew or group is dead? They go and get their fucking lick back, bro. Kaido! Luffy is running full throttle towards Kaido. Kaido drunk ass laying down, burping, destroying the city. When Luffy got to him, he threw everything in the kitchen sink at him. Right in the third gear from the, the top rope. Hit Kaido ass with a bomb. What are you talking about? What he say? He said... Nobody can take it, it felt... It, it looked kind of cool, but... Had to be. Nobody can take a hit like that, except for Kaido. He gets right up in dragon form and goes... He's looking like he's still drunk. I thought they might be evenly matched. Just tagging his ass. There's no fear in Luffy, bro. Cut the fuck out of him. But Kaido refused to fall, and Luffy dodges three blast breaths in the air, blow after blow. But Luffy's grizzly magnum gets Kaido to the ground. Everybody just stuck. Kaido hit the ground. He even reverted back to his regular form. But Luffy, Luffy know that's not enough. Kaido, get your bitch ass up. He get up drunk as hell. Uh, uh, uh. We're not done yet. Turn in the fourth gear. Now you know Luffy own one, bro. You thought I wouldn't get my lick back from my crew? But Kaido barely budges, bro. Luffy keep going, though. He did not want to back down. I mean, punching from the heavens. Being thrown with everything he has. Every ounce of ferocity. Punches his ass through the fucking city. They thought he was down for the count. He got right up. He angrier than he was before. 
Uga go for one last ditch effort while Kaido throw his thunder Uga Booga. Bro, Kaido smashes <laughs> Uga face destroys this man into a fucking mountain. Bitch <laughs> ass youngie. All this about that was probably about Congress hockey and all that. Well, not. Congress hockey? This showed me the true strength of Yonko in the world of One Piece. I think we've been knowing about that. Bottle of Hini in anger to Don Luffy with one shot. Before you knew it could be applied like invincible kind of ego and aura around him. Like no matter what, he can't be beat. And only needing one shot to smack Luffy shows his abilities by itself. Invincible is hard to accomplish. There's always somebody stronger. There isn't a such thing as perfect. What's Vegito? How is he different from Gogeta? You know what I'm saying? Because it depends on like the way they fuse, how they fuse. You know what I'm saying? What like they, I think that they do the anything, they become Vegito, and if they do the fusion ha thing, then they become Gogeta. If I'm right, so I'm like, but like, what's the difference with them though? Now, Broly was winning this fight, beating on Vegeta ass. Not gonna lie, like that wasn't going to happen anyway. But then Goku, overconfident ass, got beat too. Like, you know, how do they get strength or something? They were getting beat so bad, they let Frieza to deal with it. In all honesty, though, Broly don't even get like this if Frieza wasn't worried about being a short bitch for the rest of his life. Oh, when Gogeta shows up, it's all hands, bro. Not even a little talk. Straight to the boxing. Broly just do everything at them right off the bat. Gogeta right into Super Saiyan form, blow for blow. But you can already kind of tell Broly is supremely outmatched. Every move Gogeta does is like a nuclear Bomb, bro. At this point, Broly is just trying to catch up. They sit their most powerful moves at each other and crack through the dimension, bro. That's how you know these are two heavyweights going at it. When they got back to our dimension, Gogeta started showing the fuck off at this point. Broly throwing the moves, he smack it off. Get his eyes on the trail and keep it a fade. Broly made a flamethrower come out of his mouth, bro. That's no match for Gogeta. Gogeta tearing his ass up. Robo ball. Rainbow ball. Bro, he's still in and charged one last time. Bro, my nigga is gliding on his team and punched his ass in the face. This is just a. Now, that reminds me of when, uh, what is it? Uh, Ultra Instinct Goat. Was it Ultra Instinct? Fought, uh, fuck. Was it Ultra Instinct? I think it was Blue. Super Saiyan Blue Goku fought, uh, what's her name? The girl, the girl saying. That you know they fought in Super, they fought in Dragon Ball Super. You know what I'm saying? The final tournament thing, and you know he like slid on her beam with his beam before he even fired it. it, it, it. Peak. So that that's what I'm like it. Tyson. Uh, Muhammad Ali. Right, you guys, so that was when a character's ego matches their abilities, bro. Hey, man, it's everything he said, bro. Like, get a deadly person. A very deadly person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't think Bruce Lee had much of, of an ego, but he was a very deadly person. Uh, but y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below. Y'all know it's Boomer with Bali Star. Make sure to leave a like, support the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new so we can join up with the all-star gang up in this thing. I'm catch y'all in the next one. 100. Oh!
It's fuck whatever they say since they talk behind our back So I don't care what they say about, don't care what they say about it's weird that they hate and talking like they mad So I don't care what they say about, don't care what they say